Uh, just a short journey, mate. Just a short journey. Yeah, I hadn't been to London. I haven't been to London for a couple of weeks now, which is uh, which is good. I've been. I've got quite a bit to do up here, mate. So uh, yeah, hey, I was. You, you don't stop. You're always up to things, aren't you? Yeah, I've got to keep active, Charlie. Got to keep active. What's the latest with Irene? Because I've not found her for a month. <laughs> She's uh, been on to us yesterday to say that the book should be on its way this week, so hopefully it will be. She's, uh, her face has all come out in blotches. She hasn't been very well, but she reckons it'll be coming this week, so I'll uh, hopefully get it this week. Yeah, I've not called her for a month. No, no, no. I get bored, mate. Well, uh, Same old shit all the time. Things happen, mate. Things happen, don't they? The, yeah, fucking hell. I've got my own shit in here, mate, without it out there. Oh, has it been a bad week? Ah, uh, up and down, you know how it is. Yeah, why well, aye, why well, aye. Well, Cheeky bastards. Newca- Newcastle's got the Saudis, so I'm happy. Hey, it's not Saturday, we're, you're playing it Sunday. Half past four Sunday, mate, the big you game. You told me Saturday. Yeah, I forgot it was moved to the Sunday. Half past hey, four. Hey, fucking Harry Kane played last night. Uh, was it last night? Yeah, for England. England? Fucking hell, I can't see him scoring a goal up there. Newcastle won, Spurs won. That's me prediction. Hey, what odds did you get me? It's um, I'm going to the bookies tomorrow, mate. I'm going to the bookies tomorrow. Now yeah. you said two. Uh, you you said score, Spurs win and Harry Kane scores. Yeah, that's right. You I, get about eight or nine to one, there. Are you sure you don't want to change this? No. No. <laughs> hey, come on, Steve. You never change your bet, mate. Well, that's true, mate. That's true. Newca- Once you do a bet, you have to stick to it because. If you change it and it fucking wins, <laughs> you go mad. Do you put the lottery on? Hey? Eh? Do you put the lottery on? Every week. Do you? Have you got set numbers? Yeah, n- someone outside puts it on for me. Have you got set numbers? Yeah, every week. Ah. Oh, numbers. Very I've good. I've won a few tenors, you know. Yeah, I remember the very first week of the lottery, I won a tenner. I thought I'd, I was fantastic. But I've got to tell you now, I've got quite a few premium bonds. Oh, have you? And every now and again, I win 25 quid. I've never got above 25 quid. Yeah. But over the years, uh, I'd say I've won, I don't know, five or six hundred quid. Wow. Do you remember the yeah. pool? Do you remember the pools? Yeah, of course. Football pools. Used to, everybody used Don't to do them. still do them? I'm not sure. They probably do. I had the pools coupon. I used to, you, they used to get the pools man used to come to the door on that. Yeah, but you probably remember as a boy when your mum and dad done that. Yeah, my grandma and granddad used to love it. Everyone done it, didn't they? You always had a collector coming round. And, and if I remember rightly, I think it was either a Yorkshire lass or a Geordie lass uh, who won a million pounds or something. Yeah. And she, and she wrote a book called Spend, Spend, Spend. Yeah, that rings a bell. That rings a bell. Uh, I can't remember her name now, but she was famous. And she spent the fucking lot. And when she won it, a million pound men is like worth 20 mil today. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think her name was Viv. Viv, yeah. I think it rings a bell, that leg. Definitely yeah, rings a bell. Yeah, look it up. I'll Google it because... Uh, hey, that's what I meant to tell you. Go on. What, do you know the name Leslie Whittle? Leslie Whittle? Is that, was that a yeah. victim? Was she a victim of somebody? Yes. Right, now where, was she the victim? Right, Daryl Nielsen, the Black Panther, kidnapped her. That's right. And he put her down a fucking drain. Yeah. And that's where she died, down there. That's right, yeah. Right, now listen, this, a lot of people don't know this, but it's in one of my books years ago. When I got, uh, when the Black Panther was out there doing his post offices, that was 1974. Yeah. At the same time, I was doing what I did. And one of my charges was the post office. Okay. Now, I got nicked in uh, September 1974. Yeah. And when they got me down the station, they was questioning me over his post offices. Ah. They actually thought they'd nick the Black Panther when they nicked me. <laughs> I said to him, I said, come on, fucking help. Give me a fucking break, will you? Anyway, in 1975, he stopped doing his post offices and he kidnapped that Leslie Whittle. Yeah. And when he came to prison, obviously, he then got nicked for the post offices. But 
that's my probably my claim to fame. I was questioned on all these post offices. Wow, mad that I'd be mental. And I ended up on a fucking unit in Park West because he'd done it. Did you? Yeah. yeah! A small world, man. He was a dangerous bastard. Yeah, he was, like. He oh, was. a poor little cunt. He was only about five foot six. Did he mean to kill her? Do you think it was just the whole... He... No, I'll tell you, it's, it, that's a good question, that, and I'm going to tell you now. I don't think he did. What he done to her was fucking horrible, evil. You know, putting a young girl down a train like that. Because she was only a teenager. And he put a, a, a metal wire around her neck and put her on a ledge down in the sewers and he left the food, water, and stuff like that. But when he's fucked off, what I, this, what I think's happened, when he's fucked off, down the sewers you've got fucking big rats, haven't you? Yeah. And she's in the darkness on a ledge, fucking uh, still wire around her, her neck. Maybe some of them rats that come up to her, brushing across her feet or her legs, and she just fell off in fear. Yeah. In fact, she fell into the darkness. She can't even see it's that dark down there. Yeah, it's awful. But, uh, fancy putting a young girl down the sewer like that. Bloody oh. awful, mate, isn't it? Bloody awful. Evil. And he, he had a daughter the same age, you know. Did he? God. Yeah. God almighty. But, yeah, I was in progress with him, and believe it or not, he was a fucking good artist, you know. Was he? Yeah, he used to do all paintings. Ah, oh, right. No, I didn't know I that. I him one day. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I'll give him a right crack, you know. What was he messed? Was he winding he, your blade? He was in, hardly ever showered. He was a dirty bastard. He, he was a loner. Hardly ever spoke to anyone. And he used to spit a lot. Right. And the lads used, and myself, we used to say to him, don't be fucking spitting, you know, we've all got to live here, for fuck's sake. Yeah. And uh, he was just a dirty bastard, so I went in his cell one day and fucking hooked him. Just give him a, give him a right hander. Yeah, right, fucking, oh, a peach of a right it was. <laughs> peach of a right. Yeah, I've, I've got... Then I put an hole through his recent uh, painting. Did you? Yeah, I kicked an hole through it. Did he stop? Did, did he stop? Did he st- I was a nasty bastard them days, you know. <laughs> did he behave after that? Well, not really, because he was a horrible cunt anyway. <laughs> he was just horrible. He, none of us t- spoke to him. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable, uh, mate. Well, I've met him all way, you know. Well, you have over the years, like, I mean, it's like a who's who of bloody nutters. Oh, fucking... I'd when I look back, as, do you know when I go to bed at night, Steve? Yeah. I've got a fucking smile on my face, you know. Why? I don't know. I just, I just feel happy. And nine times out of ten, when I wake up in the morning, I'm fucking laughing. You <laughs> 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 can't make it up. But some people out there, they'd probably say, ah, uh, Charlie's institutionalised. I fucking ain't, you know, because... To be institutionalised, you've got to like prison, haven't you? Yeah, true. Very true. I fucking hate prison. When people listen to your recordings, Charlie, people... Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I lost count of the amount of things that people were saying on there, how positive it was. God yeah. almighty, how has he been in that long and he still sounds... He just sounds like he's normal and, you know, you know, I'd, he'd be a great person to, to have a drink with or go for a meal with and, you know, people are you just know, amazed. years ago, when I was here years ago the first time, yeah. I've been coming back and forth to this wood hill for about 20 odd years, oh, more than that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said to the governor one day, I said, look, listen, I said, why didn't you get a coach load of YPs, put them here, and just put them in a room with me so I could talk to them. And I said, I guarantee... I'd fucking save half of them from ever coming back to prison. Yeah, probably would. I'm you, just tell them the truth. You probably would, Charlie. And they would listen and to what he said. it hurts. Yeah. You know, if you carry on the way you're going, you're going to lose your mum and your dad and your family. You're not going to be able to go to the funerals. Prison's a, a horrible place, you know. It's for, it's, and it's for mugs, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? If that's what you but, want to say. I've always said it. We're all fucking losers in here, mate. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, how big you are, how strong you are, you've lost. Yeah. One day in prison is one day too long. 
Yeah, my agreement. Well, I've always said that, and I'm the biggest fucking loser out of everybody. Yeah. But I've made it work for me. Well, you have, but you seem like you've made peace with yourself, Charlie. I mean, oh, you... I have. I've found peace. I've... And the only reason I've found peace, Steve, is through my heart, mate. You got you, you through your art, but I think as well you, you you've become a creature of habit, and this isn't being institutionalised. But yeah, as long as you've got your canteen, as yeah. long as as long as you've got your exercise, as long yeah. as you've got your contact with your visitors and and being able to speak to people, yeah, you're pretty you're pretty happy. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a routine, a regime. Yeah, you are, and it's a good. I mean, that jail, if there is such a thing, is not a bad prison for you. And I tell you what, you know, I've got no bitterness, you know. No, 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 definitely I've got not. No bitterness. You know, some people are like plotting and planning when they get out, they're going to break his leg and smash him up. I've got no fucking bitterness in my heart. No, no, no. I'd sooner do someone a good turn than a bad turn. Well, that's good. That's good. It bodes well for when you've got your parole here in next year, mate. And the way to get back on, on your old enemies is to get out and win. Exactly. And be successful. Be successful. I, my, my goal is to become one of the best artists that's ever come out of prison. Yeah, and you're, you're there, mate. You're there. I know. you just got to get through them gates. That's all you've got to do, mate. You know, like some people, like, you know, Chrissy Lambriano? Yeah. He found Jesus. You know that, didn't you? Yeah. When he was in prison, he found Jesus. Yeah. Well, I found art. Some people come to prison... And they find Jesus. I found the art. Yeah. I've looked for Jesus, but I've never found him under my bed. <laughs> and if I did find him under there, I'd wrap him up and keep him under there. <laughs> oh, tickle I don't his want Jesus in my cell. Tickle his feet with a feather. Eh? Hey? Tickle his feet with a feather. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wrap him up like a Christmas turkey. Yeah. And tickle his toes. For three and a half hours with a peacock feather. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go with the boogies tomorrow. I'm going to get your bet on tomorrow, mate. Ah, so. uh, nice one, Steve. Well, it's it's uh, both score. Yeah. Spurs win. Yeah. And now he came to score a goal. And I'll stick my bet on it. And if, uh, what I'll do is on this occasion, we'll, uh, if I win, I'll half it. And if you win, you half it. Let's have it. We'll go there. Right. Hey, what, what, are you going to do the same bet, but the other way round? I'm going to go Newcastle. 2-1, Allenson Maximum, uh, both teams to score, Allenson Maximum to score. Yeah, but I've not actually done the score, have I? Right, OK. So both, I've just going that both, Spurs win. Both teams to score, Newcastle to win and ASM to score. And Harry Kane to score. Right, and you're going Harry Kane for Spurs. Right, OK. Yeah, who are you going to have in your team to score? Allenson Maximum. Oh, he's a good player, in. Yeah, going to get him to score. So I'll get the... Do you honestly think Newcastle are going to win? We've got a chance... Newcastle's yeah, crowd. Uh, hey, they'll all be playing good now because they'll all be wanting a new contract, won't they? They will be, aye, with his new Saudi owners. That's what I'm saying, mate. They're going to be playing to Sunday. They've invited me up to the game, the new owners, so I'm going. Oh, nice one. I'm looking forward. I'm going in the posh end. I'm going in the posh box. Go on, mate. Get a bit good of, luck to you. Get a bit of scran, mate, so that'll be nice. Uh, but you ain't won anything since the late 1950s. 1969, the Fairs 59. Cup. 69, the Fairs Cup. 1955, the FA Cup. I'll say, 18 months, two years from now, you'll be right on the top three. Oh, I hope so, mate. I hope be so. Nice for him, it? it will be, mate. It will be. Be good if stuff. You've got an historic team there, you know. Well, I have, mate. It's great days if we do, man. Great team you've had there. Yeah, 100% man. But I'll get them bets on tomorrow and we'll, fingers crossed, one of us going to get something out of it. Right, listen, I've got a fly. Take care. Good night, hey, mate. Me, me taxi's just turned up my map for the night. Enjoy. Hey, hey, can I see you, senor? Bye, mate.